This is a 1951 Kaiser business coupe. Now I must say that I have never seen a Kaiser business coupe before. So this is a very, very unusual. This is an auction car. So fortunately it gives me the opportunity to show more detail of this car than usual. It has standard transmission and the uh, upholstery looks to be a leatherette. I don't know whether that's original or not. It uh, has wide white walls and nice wheel covers. And there's a little glare here. In a minute I'll be opening the door, but um, there is no back seat. That's typical of the business coupe. really only has a front seat. Okay, now I'm going to open the door. There we go. Very nice deluxe steering wheel. Manual transmission. Big horn ring. And as you see, the instruments are in a cluster there. A speedometer in the middle and uh, the rest of the gauges uh, sorted radially around that speedometer. The back is very plain here. Really meant for whatever the business coupe would be hauling, whether it be uh, salesman samples or doctor's uh, equipment or what have you. Door panels match the rest of the upholstery. Notice the rubber floor mat. Nice maroon paint on this car. Now this car was styled by Darren. Did a nice job on this car. Notice the protector around the uh, door for the gas, uh, gas cap. And notice the dip in the rear window. And there's one also in the windshield. It's called the Darren Dip. And Darren's name was there on the bottom of the uh, right uh right uh, fender there. Okay, now I'm going to open the trunk. So I'm going to wobble a little bit here while I open the trunk. And uh, pretty heavy lid there. There I got it up and there is uh, the compartment. Now the spare tire is under that circle there in the middle. So they really thought that one out pretty well. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the other side. I don't know whether this car sold at auction or not. But it sure is rare. Now in a minute uh, I was able to open the uh, engine compartment and uh, here we have the six cylinder engine, flathead. Looks in pretty good shape. Kaiser never had an eight cylinder. The best they could do was the supercharged uh, six at the very end. One of the reasons why Kaiser didn't go on past 1955. 55s were actually leftover 54s. There we have it. 